What is up, players? It's World Boss Tay up in this mode. Welcome to my How to Paint a Death Corps of Creek Infantryman Part 1. This is going to be our finished example of what we're kind of building towards. But today, to give you an idea of what it's going to look like at the end of the next video, today we are just painting him up to here base coats and the wash. So, just double checking that the wash isn't pooling into any of these recesses and it's all spread evenly. It's a hard thing man, once you put on a shade or a wash and you just let it sit, if, if any of it gets into the wrong areas, like right there, this is a nice dark de deep area and if the, you let the wash pool there it's going to look pretty bad when it fully dries. Also, if you do not get your wash over the entire area and there's one or two dry spots, they're going to look obviously different because they'll be so much brighter when the shade dries. So there you go. Alright, here are the, the colors that you're going to need to get your model up to this point. Dark Reaper. Dryad Bark. Lots of Morn Fang Brown. Chaos or Abaddon Black. Skaven Blight Dinge. Russ Gray. Gehenna's Gold. Lead Belcher. Steel Legion Drab. And finally, Rackarth Flesh. Now, you don't have to use all of those colors, but if you want your guy to look eventually like one of these chappies, then um, those are the colors that I'm going to be using. I know coming up you're going to need Mephiston Red ready, as well as Karak Stone and Runefang Silver and Fenrisian Grey. Those are the four colors that I know are going to be really we're going to be really using in addition to the ones that we've used already coming up. So, hope you stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. This is How to Paint a Death Corps of Krieg Infantry Part 1. Stay tuned! What up, players? It's Wall Boss Tail with this mug. Today, I'm going to show you how to paint up an infantryman for the Death Corps of Krieg. Now, this is using what I feel like is the standard Death Corps of Krieg uniform. This kind of bluish gray overcoat or great coat and uh, dark brown trousers, boots, leg wraps, helmet, everything else. I think that it's the uh, most recognizable looking color scheme, especially when you look into resource books like Only War that shows um, in-game art, that they have a pretty, a pretty similar great coat color scheme. It might be a little bit more gray than uh, this, this baby blue, but I think this is pretty good, especially because it contrasts so well with the uh, basing that I've decided to go with, this kind of muddy trench works looking base. So, the model we're going to be using is, I decided to choose an infantryman at ease holding a bayonet getting ready to affix it, because this way you could see all of the model. So we're going to get started. And the first color we're going to use is Citadel Layer Dark Reaper. It's been so long since I did a painting tutorial. So we're taking our Dark Reaper now and after diluting it just a little bit onto our wet palette, I'm going to just cover every inch of this guy's great coat. So turn on this light if it's a little brighter. There we go. Well, is it too well? Yeah, that's fine. I'm trying to find the best light for my uh, for my videos. I think that looks pretty. Fortunately, I still have my Canon T2i I film all my videos on, and um, it, it doesn't have autofocus, so I'm having to constantly look at the screen to make sure that it's okay. So I, uh, forgive me if the, if the model goes out of 
focus or out of frame. Okay, while that's drying, we're going to take some Mornfang Brown. We're gonna start, we're gonna be using Mornfang Brown a lot actually, but for now we're just going to paint the boots. <coughs> Them boots. Okay, after the boots have been painted, uh, we are going to, what's the next thing we can do? We'll take our Mornfang Brown and we're going to paint the wood pieces of our rifles. So, what I found for the LAS guns to be good as this kind of wood coloring is this kind of stock here. Of course, it's going to be a little bit different placement if you're doing an, an infantryman that's got his gun up. You're just going to be painting it up here instead. And you're also getting the... or actually, is this the stock? I'm not sure what the proper terminology is, but the wooden piece here, the, the grip. Maybe that's what it's called, the grip. Alright, <clears throat> next we're going to take Dryad Bark. This is a nice dark brown. If you have the old scorched brown, that works just as well. And we're going to be painting the trousers to start with. then you're going to be painting after that the gloves. So I'm trying to get an only war game started here in where I live in Hawaii, but a lot of my local uh, gaming group is really more into the 40k and the, the RPGers seem to be already involved in their own systems like Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons, all that kind of stuff. So I haven't been able to get a group going as yet, but I'm still hoping, still hoping that there is going to be some interest at some point. Um, it's, a, it's a fun game and if you haven't heard my recent um, promo or plug video, I found a podcast, Grimdark Podcast, where uh, James and Mike talk about how the new Dark Heresy that's coming out, second edition Dark Heresy, is a lot like Only War with the character stuff like uh, aptitudes and uh, some of the combat and stuff, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that, but Death Corps of Krieg seemed to be a fun Just a fun regiment to play in Only War as well as on the tabletop, so I'm really looking forward to that Hopefully you can get some interest going in doing a Only War group here in Hawaii Rackarth Flesh next for the leg wraps I'm playing the game hosted by Ken Leonhardt with uh, Sergeant Tristan Lee Arlepu, Blue Cloud Andrew, and oh, is that it? Ken Leonhardt, Blue Cloud Andrew, Kelly Arlepu, and Sergeant Tristan. Yeah, I guess that's it because Ken is GMing this one, and I'm having so much fun. I'm just trying to get interest going in doing a, uh, a local campaign. I've been picking up some some tips and tricks and uh, some fun just listening to podcasts, live play podcasts, and reading on the forums, all these uh, other groups that are really enjoying their only war, 
and I'd love to get something going here if I can. We'll see. We'll see. That's that's the goal. So many goals. Yeah, Death Corp Cree, quite possibly the most grim dark of the Imperial Guard. I don't know, what do you guys think? They lived on a planet that seceded from the Imperium, and rather than join the traitors or give up or run away, the commander of the Imperial forces uh, just detonated all these atomic uh, munitions and blasted Krieg into the war-torn, completely destroyed, radioactive, messed up world that it is today. Morn Fang Brown. I find it quite grimdark. So they can't leave their underground trenches and bases without the aid of these rebreathers. So I always make sure when I build my my troopers that I I put these backpacks on them. It looks like you can build them without the backpacks. They have a kind of cross belt system on the back of their coats, which looks like it won't look like they're missing something if they don't have their backpacks. But for me, it's just, I, f I feel like it bulks out the figures a little bit more and adds a little bit more um, surface. Oops, my apologies. I was saying it gives your model a little bit more things on the surface of the figure to look at. I don't know why my my camera's cutting me off sometimes while I'm painting. I never used to do this before, but since I moved my whole desk set up and rearranged everything differently, I wonder if it's... It, it says it shuts off automatically. I wonder if it's because there's too much light from one direction or something. Uh, that's the only thing I can explain because it all of a sudden just shuts off for no reason. So, I painted the little pack with the oxygen readout unit on his torso there. The straps, the belt, the holster. Your guy might not have a holster, but it might have some bullet packs on him. Uh, everything around the belt, not the belt buckle, but any pouches. Um, if you're using an entrenching tool, which you should be, then the entrenching tool, everything that is a strap or a leather piece on the model. All right, what we're gonna do next is paint all of the silver <clears throat> lead belcher. Now, not everything that's going to be a silver metal iron is going to be straight lead belcher, but the ones that are, the pieces that are is gonna be silver are the bayonets, either in their hands or on the model. The rifle, the las gun, everything except for the wooden pieces, which we've already painted. So you've got your, your energy power clip, all of the metallic parts. butt, as well as the oxygen tank on the back of the backpack. Oh hey, if any of you live or are familiar, live in or are familiar with the San Francisco area, the lady boss and I are going to be hanging out there for Christmas. She has family up there, so we're flying up to spend the holidays with her family up there. I'm not sure, I haven't done any homework on 
there's any gaming clubs or stores in the area. I'm sure there are. So yeah, if you if you know of any, let me know. Okay, you also are going to paint the belt buckle in silver. Bolt gun metal, I mean. Or <laughs> lead belcher. What am I talking about? Uh, oops, finally, you do want to get the tube connecting the mask to his breather unit. Right, there you go. Next we're gonna take Steel Legion Drab and we're going to paint the gas masks in the iconic Visually iconic piece of the death core are their gas masks. All right, there we go. Now, while we're waiting for that to dry, we're also gonna. I missed a piece with your Mornfang Brown paint the tabs of the helmet, tabs under the helmet, rather. I'm not really sure what you would call these. These are like the straps. They're for the uh, chin straps. So on some models, they might be hanging open. Uh, but most of the time, they're, they're, they're strapped down, strapped in. So just paint the tabs here on the sides. And if you can see the, the chin strap going under the chin, and paint it there if you can as well. All right. Next, next, next. Okay, we're going to be making a mix now, which is why you need your wet palette of Lead Belcher. And I'm using Chaos Black, but you can use, of course, Abaddon Black. We're gonna try to get like a very dark, iron look with this combination. When I batch painted, I'm batch painting a whole squad, like a whole blob squad, so 30 Death Core of Creed guys. I actually am using, so I, I actually made a whole lot of this mix. And here, let me just show it to you on my wet palette here. It's very, very dark. It's just like it almost looks like a dark gray with um, some some sparkliness to it. <clears throat> and this is going to be for all of the flat armor pieces, which are basically the shoulder guard, any shoulder armor. On both sides. the helmet. One of the things I love about the Death Corps is that they're so fatalistic, they're so, you know, out for repentance for their betrayal. They all take personally the fact that their planetary governor betrayed the Imperium. All of them feel like it was, it's still something that they personally have to atone for. So they're so into that that they don't even care that they are getting thrown into meat grinder operations. When they are indoctrinated into the Imperial Guard, uh, they're not, they, they kind of lose their personal identities. All of that is kind of tr um, forced out of them. They no longer become, or they no longer retain any kind of individuality. They become just cogs, little cogs in the machine. You're also going to get the little armor plates on the hands. And what that means is that they get their own serial numbers and they're known as their numbers for their entire service, I think. I'm not even sure if it lasts to when they're on the planet, but definitely when they are fighting, they no longer are people. They become numbers. Very, very grim dark. Love it. Okay, uh, we're going to take some black, Chaos Black or Abaddon Black, and we're going to paint them into the little eye sockets. I've seen Death Corp Creek painted with their 
eye sockets of their gas masks in various different colors. And I found that I like the straight darkness of the Chaos Black because it makes them look more inhuman. Kind of gives them a very bug, almost bug-like appearance and just makes them look inhuman. Alright, next! We're going to take Gehenna's Gold and we're only going to do one of the gold pieces now. It's the snout of the gas mask. They're going to be we're going to paint gold for the buttons later on and for various patches and stuff, but since we're going to be building up the color of our great coat, we don't want to cover up any work that we're doing now. It's going to be very precise work painting on these buttons, so for now, we're just going to get in gold things that we know are going to stay gold. I don't think there's any gold pieces on anything else. Oh, yeah, the uh, the eagle on the belt buckle is going to be gold. Any eagles you see are going to be gold. After that's done, we're going to go back to Lead Belcher and we're going to paint up the uh, other two Imperial Aquilas on the backpack as well as the uh, front of the oxygen readout machine thing here. So you want to try to avoid the edge of the carrying case. You just want to get the little machine on the inside. I mean, just look at this detail that Forge World is able to get into their models. Amazing! All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take Russ Gray, and Russ Gray is going to be the first highlight for our great coat, and that is what we're going to use. The first time we apply this, because we'll be applying it uh, twice, we're just going to cover the whole model and. Uh, only leave shadows in the deepest creases. We're working for smoothness though, so I'm using a wet palette as always, thin down with some water, and then just applying, being careful to leave the shadows in the creases. Yeah, so if you guys know of any game stores or game clubs, or you live in the San Francisco area, I'm not sure which part of San Francisco we're going to actually, um, but drop me a line, let me know. Do I get to come along again, Master? Of course you do, Igor. Hooray! For those of you who are new subscribers, and you may not even know who Igor is because he hasn't been in front of the camera lately. Why haven't you been in front of the camera, Igor? You used to be in front of the camera all the time. I've got one camera shy, Master. And also, I got a big pimple. Igor, you are a crit ghoul covered in blood and guts and gore. 
probably wouldn't even be able to probably wouldn't even be able to see if you had a pimple on your face. Oh master, I'm very self-conscious. Igor is my live-in manservant. He's a crypt ghoul. For those of you who don't know who he is. And he operates the video camera, which is why it gets so blurry and out of focus. I can't operate the camera with my big beefy hands. So why do you even want to operate the camera anyway, Igor? Because I like to film things, and I want to go to film school one day and direct, direct movies. It's very ambitious, Igor. Okay, you should learn how to film. You should learn how to use this camera, though. Oh no. Right, if you've made any mistakes, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. You can just cover them up right now. As long as you're using a wet palette, all of my paints are still... are still uh, ready to be used. So, this dark iron for any paint mishaps on the shoulder armor here. on the helmet. All right. The last thing we're going to do in the first part of this video is we're going to take some Morn Fang Brown and we're going to paint up the straps that are holding the entrenching tool to our trooper's uniform. This is the only one I'm not totally 100% on, but I've done it anyway, so I figure might as well let you guys know what I'm doing. There's that, there's that. There's like three pieces that I paint on my model. Two diagonal pieces down here where the head of the shovel meets the bayonet and one across the middle. Oh, this guy has a bayonet. Oh well, we'll just say that he found it. He found another bayonet. He collects them. All right. That is all for that. Now we're going to get into the gold. So going back to Gehenna's gold, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to paint in all of the gold areas. So starting from the top and going to the bottom, we've got an Imperial Aquila on this guy's helmet. So we're going to start with that. As always, you don't want to have too much paint on the tip of your brush. It's better to add multiple layers of one color thin down then to add and to just slap it all down at once and you've got a skull insignia on the collar that I like to I like to paint in gold and then the rest of it is just the buttons on your trooper now the place where it uh, varies between which sculpt you have is if your guardsman's coat is pinned up like this then there will be a button up there in the corner so, like this chappy here, he's got a button there, and a button there on that side. If your guardsman's coat is down, like this, if he's at if he's at ease, then the flap is down. Also, you'll find buttons right below the belt buckle, and four right on the torso. So we make sure we've got our gold paint right on the tips of our brushes and we can just kind of poke at them like that. You don't need too much, just that. And then make sure that you've got gold on the Aquila back here on the gas tank or the oxygen tank rather. I think that's it. Gold on the snout and you are good to go. 
last section of this first part of the video is we're going to take Agrax Earthshade and we are going to give our guy a bath. So he's dirty, he's grungy, he's been fighting for a long time. Oh, before we do that, hello, I'm so sorry. I missed one part. Skaven Blight Dinge is actually, this is something I've been doing recently for all my Death Corps of Krieg, so uh, it's, it's something that I found that I really like is down here, he's got a boot cover. So Skaven Blight Dinge is this very dark gray, but it's got a little bit of brown to it, so I, I like to paint the um, boot cover in this color. It's just over the flap though, it doesn't go all the way to the base. over the heel. Out across the front. And viola. There you go, boot covers. Okay, we're gonna start with our wash now. Agrax Earth Shade. You want to make sure you shake up your Agrax Earth Shade or whatever shade you're you're gonna use. I'll suggest going with a brown rather than a black. So if you use a different company like Vallejo or Army Painter or whatever, you want to just make sure you're using a brown wash. The reason for that is that the brown will show up really nicely as more natural looking shadows to everything. I'm mainly getting the uniform. Try to stay off of all of the dark iron pieces, but you want the uniform. You want to get the uniform. You want to hit any of the leather parts, any of the Mornfang brown parts, and do the top part first if you've just done the boot covers, because we're going to be working our way all the way down to the boots in just a second. Definitely hit the backpack and the face, the gas mask, of course. Now our guy looks like he's been fighting. Don't forget to get the rifle. As gun gets a nice bath with the shade and then the gas mask and his breathing tube. So dirty, he's been fighting for days. He wants... He just wants to go home. All right. Dark and gritty, all the shadows nicely painted. Now we make our way down to the boots. And now we wait. So thanks for joining me everybody for painting this first part of Death Corps of Krieg Infantry. So much fun to paint. I really, really enjoyed it. I've got um, a whole bunch painted right now. So I'll show you these guys while we're waiting to wrap. Add a little bit of uh, razor wire, use a secret weapons trench, base work for the base. And if you want some awesome mud effects, use uh, some some AK miniatures wet earth enamel I think it's an enamel yeah or damp earth enamel color and beautiful 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 I'll actually apply all of that in the second video but thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next video latest players